Each winter, about a dozen drivers break out the studded tires and hit the ice for some slippery racing at Birch Lake and Hackensack. They're basically stock cars that they just, you know, weld a little bit of reinforcement around them and bring them out and hope they last. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Anybody can do it. I mean, you just take some old jalopy and take the, everything off from the mirrors down and go out and race it. It's uh, it's, it's good, uh, cheap racing. It's the most fun you're going to have for the money. Um, it's kind of a family thing. You see all the kids around, everybody hangs out. It's a good time. Sounds simple enough. The hardest part, though, may be making your own studded tires. I start, I start out with a brand new tire, and then I, uh, I just use snowmobile studs, drill a bunch of holes on the inside of the tire and run the snowmobile studs in there and then put the backers on them and then weld the nuts to the studs. It takes me a long time. Yeah, I used to do it, but they they'd always go flat on you, so I got some factory ones. You gotta drill holes in it, and then you put the bolts through. I mean, it makes burger out of your fingers. It, it's not any fun to do. This type of ice racing is more than just good competition. It's also a good community event. As you can see, passengers are an absolute must. They do allow you to have up to uh, four passengers, I believe, which kind of help put weight in the car, and they also help spot for you because you obviously can't be looking in all directions at the same time, so. It seems having three or four backseat drivers certainly adds to the excitement. It's fun because everybody can do it. You know, load up the car full of people, and that's what makes it fun. If, if there was just one guy in the car just racing, it would, nobody would be out here. Well, I was trying to keep everybody from screaming all the time. I had um, three grandmas one time riding the back with me. That was a, an interesting day. I guess having your pit crew in the car isn't a distraction. Well, everybody likes to drive no matter where they're sitting, you know, so you get a lot of advice, but just face forward. <laughs> well, you get to hang out with your buddies, you know, you're not out there like in some high buck racing where you have to, uh, you know, be out there all by your lonesome. You're out there with your friends, the guys that help you change tires and work in the car. Those are the ones that get to ride with you. After a quick look at the lap style seat belts in the back seat, I decided not to try it. For Lakeland News at 10, I'm Aaron McElhern.